In our previous video, we have discussed that there are two components of a successful research project. On the one hand, your question must be interesting, and on the other hand, your answer must be compelling. Now let's zoom a little bit further into the first aspect and ask, what makes a research question interesting? And there are three aspects of an interesting research question. So let's take a moment to understand the three aspects of an interesting research question. The first aspect is that the question is important, which means that it helps to solve a general problem or advances our understanding. And their problem could, for example, be a societal problem. But if you're working in a more applied context such as, for example, a business, then it might be a problem that our business is facing at this moment. So that's the first aspect. And then the second aspect is that the question is also novel, which simply means that it hasn't been answered before. And this may sound trivial, but very often they are already questions that are at least similar to your question. So it's important that you know exactly how your question is different and what exactly it adds beyond the questions that have already been answered. And then the final aspect is that the question is timely, which means that it feels like the logical next step after the research that has already been done. So an interesting question is important, novel and timely. Now let's have a look at a few examples to see what this can look like. Let's take as an example, gender equality as a research topic. And here a researcher could argue for the importance of this topic, for example, by saying that gender equality is associated with lower violence against women, general safety and economic prosperity, which means that we should definitely care about gender equality, making this an important topic. And then the researcher may argue as a part of a literature review that the question is also novel and timely. For example, the researcher may say that research has distinguished X1, X2, and X3 as potential causes of gender inequality. However, there are indications that X4 is also a major cause of gender inequality. And then the research question could be, does X4 cause gender inequality? And I hope you can see that based on the literature review, this seems not only a novel question, but also a timely question that connects really well to the research that has been conducted to those points. Okay, let's take another example. Let's take depression as a research topic. And here a researcher may argue for the importance of this topic by saying, it is well known that depression can severely impair people's well-being and ability to function. And then as a part of a literature review, the researcher may also argue that the question is also novel and timely. For example, the researcher may say, research has shown that depression does not cost the way originally assumed. However, there is no validated treatment that fits our current understanding of depression. And then the research question could be, can treatment X reduce depression? And treatment X could be a treatment that follows our novel and current understanding of depression, making this an important novel and timely question. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Let's take leadership as a topic. And here a researcher could argue for the importance by saying, effective leadership is one of the main predictors of employee satisfaction and business growth. And then based on the literature review, the researcher may say, research has distinguished several leadership styles. Recently, Leadership Style X has been proposed, and some argue that it may be particularly effective. And then the research question could be, is Leadership Style X associated with business growth? And based on the embedding above, this seems an important novel and timely question. Okay, so the key lessons of this lecture are simply that an interesting question is important, meaning that it helps to solve societal problems or understand fundamental phenomena, novel meaning that it fills the gap, and timely meaning that it seems to be the logical next step. Okay, so these are the goals of a research question. That's where we want to achieve when we formulate a research question. Now the next question is, how do we approach that in a way that makes it most likely that we can formulate an important novel and timely question? And that is what we're going to show you in the next video. See you in the next video.